Hello, race fans. This is the Turfway Park Report for Thursday, February 14th, 2019. Poly track fast, temperature 50 degrees at post time, and we have a nine race card. Tonight's first race, a Philly and Mayor two and six months claiming event. Claiming tag 5,000 bucks, a race a mile. Jockey change on the two to Sammy Bermudez. And the morning line favorite, number three, Jewel Lisa for Chip Brownfield. They are off too cool. Broke awkwardly in his last. It's Liar Smoker who's being hustled on out to the front. Critical Humor jumped well and will hook up with her in Winner's Expedition. Makes it three in a line. Native Indy riding behind that top trio from fourth. Jewel Lisa really keen to go on, tugging hard against De Leon from fifth to the inside. Spirit is sixth and two links for the back to Bella Menina, who is seventh. And after that awkward beginning, Too Cool is last and almost 20 links out of it. As they pass the six for a long marker and they straighten it for the back stretch journey. And the first quarter was 24 and two. It's Liar Smoker. She She's getting out a little bit just down the backstretch run, and Oot's trying to wrangle her back in hand and get her straight forward down the run down the backstretch. She's in front three parts of a link as they're just outside the half-mile pole. Native Indy tracks from second. Critical humor to the outside third. Spirette covered up to the inside from fourth. Advancing now, Winner's Expedition moves a closer fifth. Jewel Lisa is next, still four to Bella Menina, and too cool is a 16th of a mile last. Half mile, 48 and 2. On to the far turn they go. It's Liar Smoker paving the poly path. But here comes Winner's Expedition with a bold bid racing up into second now. Winner's Expedition up and after the lead and trying to follow that move. Native India is looking to split horses as they continue to race around the turn with a quarter mile to go. And it's Winner's Expedition takes over the lead. Native Indy for Danner coming at him and coming on as they straighten away to the top of the lane. And Winner's Expedition set down for the stretch run with an eighth of a a while to go. Her lead has been extended to three. Here's the big long shot. Spirette flying up the fence from second. Down the center of the track. Bella Menina is finishing with interest. They're inside the final 16th now. And Winner's Expedition reaching for the line. Spirette is getting to her. Winner's Expedition is going to hang on though. Winner's Expedition pulled up late. Wins by two and a half. Spirette was second. Bella Menina third. Native Indy was fourth. And it was number eight, Winner's Expedition stalks the pace from midfield and launched an attack on the far turn and drew away to win here for owner trainer Ethan West, Luan Machado, the winning jockey, Winner's Expedition, 1580, 660, 460. Second number one, Spirette. Third number four, Bella Menina, finishing fourth, number six, Native Indy. The winning Exacta, 133.60. Trifecta, 228.60. Superfecta, $2,140. Even running time for the mile, 142 and 3. Tonight's second race, a Philly and Mayor non three claimant event. The claiming tag, 5,000 bucks. They'll go a mile, scratch the three, choppy, choppy, choppy. The favorite to the outside, number eight, My Dark Secret. And jockey Luan Machado looking to take the early daily double. Raleigh Cox. They are off. Quick beginning for Dulce de Leche, also the favorite. My Dark Secret jumped well, and these two will lead him into the clubhouse turn. Honor Bar away in the third position. Foolish Patriot rides the rail from fourth. New Blue Cat away in the fifth position, flanked by Open Invitation, who is sixth. Then to the inside, Every Day I saves all the ground from seventh, and Don't Hold Queens is last of the octet. Just outside six furlongs to travel, and My Dark Secret has made the point, and Machado's going to work trying to ration out that speed. And as they turn up the backstretch, her lead is two lengths, and they went the quarter in 24 and four. So comfortable tempo for My Dark Secret. Shows them up the backside by two and a half lengths. Dulce de Leche has deferred from the second spot. Length and half for the back. Racing in third is Honor Bar. Then there's a margin of six or seven lengths back to New Blue Cat, who races up into fourth. Everyday Ice to the outside of that one is fifth. Open invitation next, alongside her stablemate, Foolish Patriot. And at the back of the pack is Don't Hold Queens. Half mile, controlled 49 seconds flat. On to the far turn, just outside three furlongs to go. My Dark Secret paving the poly patch. Going to try to take them coast to coast, but the closers are coming. Dulce de Leche being ridden to keep pace, but Honor Bar, the big long shot underneath the Bug Girl, has moved up into a joint second as they continue to race around the turn. My Dark Secret in complete control to the quarter pole. We'll turn them on down after three quarters, 114 and four, and they spin on down for the judges. It's My Dark Secret now shaken up with an eighth of a mile to go. After seven eighths and 124 and one, inside the final four furlong, My Dark Secret drawing away. 
Honor Bar at at least 46 to 1. Races up into second, but down to the line. My Dark Secret Coast to Coast to give him a shot on the early Digga Double. They won it by uh, just about a half dozen in front running style. Honor Bar was second, open invitation third, and it got tight late for fourth. Either Dulce de Leche or Don't Hold Queens in 142. And number eight, My Dark Secret went to the front and never looked back. Wires the field here to pick up her third lifetime victory. The winner owned by Tim Garachi and Giuseppe Bellayuto. Jamie Grubbs, the winning trainer, and Luan Machado sweeps the early Daily Double. My Dark Secret returns $3.262.20 as the favorite. Finishing second, long shot number six, Honor Bar. Third, the 1A open invitation. Finishing fourth was the two, Dulce de Leche. Exact of $49.60. Trifecta, $102.40. Daily Double, $25. Superfecta, $578.60. Running time for the mile was 142 and 2. Tonight's third race made in Philly and Mare claimant event. 15,000 down to 10. They'll go six furlongs. Put Scano on the six. Jockey change on the seven to Sammy Bermudez. And the morning line favored the entry of Miss Fahrenheit in positive vibes for Peter Stranvitz. And they are off to a level beginning. Divine Diva, the Southern Florida Invader, broke sharply, debuting Kiss Me Cowboy displaying speed. And Star of Honey was up and after the pace as well. I like him in from Finger Lakes to the outside, advancing. Uh, also, Bodie on tap, the class jumper to the inside. Now, Bachi Bachi starts to close in from uh, the backfield, has raced up into fifth already, then a link for the back to Miss Fahrenheit. A margin of seven, back to uh, her stablemate, Positive Vibes, who's just in front of Miss Gavel, and Faith and Kathy will have to pass them all. The quarter, 23 seconds flat. On to the far turn they go. Kiss me, cowboy, just narrowly from Star of Honey. I like him. Up into three path, moves a closer third. Bodie on tap. In behind horses, looking for a clean place to go from fourth. Now Divine Deepa starts to close in. The favorite Miss Fahrenheit's going to try to split horses as it's wide open with many chances after a half mile, 47 and four. And the rail's open for Bodie on tap and Machado guides her up to the inside of Kiss Me Cowboy, who's trying to tighten it up. And in fact, she did down the stand side. I like him is getting a dream trip in the final Florence for long. I like him to the outside. Bodie on tap, squeezing through that narrow opening in the final 16th. Bodie on tap, the daughter of Bodie Meister on the class drop. Well prepared off that layoff by Helen Pitts and gives Machado the first three races. Number two, Bodie on tap, rides the rail to victory, squeezes through to win going away. The daughter of Bodie Meister owned by the Rock Ridge Racing, trained by Helen Pitts Bossy, and Luan Machado with a natural hat trick wins the first three on the card. Bodie on tap returns $11, $740, to show. Finishing second, number nine, I like him. Third, number seven, Divine Diva. Finishing fourth, number four, Kiss Me Cowboy. Exact to $150.20, trifecta $579.10, the daily double $20.40, superfecta $3,626.60, pick three $69.90. Tonight's fourth race, a made in Philly three year old claimant event to go six furlongs, 15 down to 10, the claiming tag, scratch number three, Easy Peaches, the morning line favorite, number eight, Thea Bia for Kelsey Danner. To complete the line at post. They are off. Quick beginning today for Samurai's Guard, who came out running. Snow Blossom will try to hook up with her, and Surfer Girl Sense on the class drop, displaying speed as well. Thea B, the favorite, in the fourth position to the inside. Vicky's Ransom, much closer today. She's fifth, only about five off the pace. Two in front of Narrow's Bridge, and the link for the back to Copy. And as they continue to run up the back stretch, it's another seven, maybe even eight more links to Wee My Lady. Past the half mile, first quarter, 23 seconds flat. It's Surfer Girl Scent shows the way, pressed to the outside by Snow Blossom. Samurai's Garden from between horses third. She's covered up by Thea B, who makes her bid up to the outside, moves a closer third now, then a margin of six links back to Vicky's Ransom, who's about to be passed by Narrow's Bridge as they continue to race around the turn, almost four across the track to the inside. Surfer Girl Scent in the middle, Snow Blossom three wide. Thea B, and in behind that trio, Samurai's Garden as they straighten away, and Snow Blossom will turn them on down. Here's Thea B as she's on the wrong lead, but she's advancing up to the outside. That's all for Surfer Girl Scent as they're in. Inside the final Florence Furlong to the outside. It's Thea B still battling long Snow Blossom as they race in the final 16th. Thea B will give Luan Machado the first four races on the card. Snow Blossom was second, Copy third, and Samurai's Garden was fourth.
Number eight, Thea B was allowed to settle off the pace down the back stretch, was given the cue midpoint through the turn, and she battled on the win down the lane to win going away by almost two lengths. The winner owned and bred by Marilyn Bramlich, trained by Kelsey Danner, and Luan Machado picks up his fourth straight win on the night. Thea B, $4, 240, 260. Second, number six, Snow Blossom. Third, the 1A copy, finishing fourth, number seven, Samurai's Guarded. The exacta was 840. Trifecta, $36.90. Daily Double, $33. Superfecta, $325.80. The pick three came back $27.20. Running time was one fourteen and one Tonight's fifth race, a Philly and Mare non two claimant event. The claiming tag, $5,000. The distance, five and one half for long. Scratch number nine, Secret Bank. The favorite on the morning line, number four. Only praise me with Perry Oots. In the saddle, they're at the post. And they are off. Awkward beginning for Teacher's Lounge, but it was a fast one for Hot Valentina, who's hard hustled to the top. Sylvester Yoli's away in good order, on the come to the inside, Rusty Halo. And now after that slow start, Teacher's Lounge has raced up and rushed up into second, so the pace is on as they charge up the backside with three and a half furlongs to go. Hot Valentina shows the way on Valentine's Day, three parts of a length. Teacher's Lounge moves a closer second. Rusty Halo rides the rail from third. On the come just got shuffled back in the fourth position. Now on the move to the outside, there goes Junior's Joy in tandem with head first as it's wide open just outside the quarter pole. Teacher's Lounge has made the point, but she was hard used to get there. Up on the outside, head first, moves a closer second. Junior's Joy third. Rusty Halo in behind horses from fourth, running on for the backfield. Miss Hopper is finishing with interest as they have an eighth of a mile to go. And Teacher's Lounge still up top, head first up into second to the inside. Junior's Joy as it's wide open inside the final 16th. And Teacher's Lounge still finding up top. Teacher's Lounge had a slow start, but a fast finish. Teacher's Lounge wins by better than two, head first, second, Junior's Joy third, Rusty Halo was fourth, running time for the five and a half, 108 and three. Number six, Teacher's Lounge puts it all together tonight. Now back-to-back -back victories here for this five-year-old daughter of Dominus. The winner owned by the BBM Farms Limited, trained by Brian Cook, Julie Burke, the winning jockey. Teacher's Lounge, slide upset winner, returns $14.80, $5.460. Second number 10, head first. Third number 8, Junior's Joy. Finishing fourth, the one, Rusty Halo. Exacta $53, trifecta $214.70. Daily double, $32.20. The pick three, $114.30. Pick four, $96.90. Pick five, $520.20. Superfecta, $2,000.80. Running time for the five and a half, 108 and three. Tonight's sixth race, a claiming event for the Phillies and Mares who have not won three races in the last two years or never won four lifetime. Claiming tag 5,000 bucks, they'll go a mile. Jockey change on the four to Malcolm Franklin. Scratch the six, puppy on a string. And the favorite, number seven on the morning line, Vita Leva U. Jockey Luan Machado looking to go five for five on the night. All set. They are off. Quick beginning for Sour Peach, as expected. From the outside, there goes Vita, Leva, U, and Shyla in between those two on the charge of the first turn. So to the inside, it's Sour Peach. To the outside, Vita, Leva, U. These two hook up. Now Shyla, angled off heels, is in third, just about two and a half lengths for the back. Then a link for the back down along the inside. Heroes the best is a linked in front of Yes, I'm Evil. Then comes Ocala Magic, who's about six lengths in front of Lady Chandler, who can see them all. They straighten up for the backstretch journey. First quarter, 24 and three-fifths seconds. Sour Peach has made the point, but has company in the name of Vita Leva U. Now, Shyla makes it three in a line on the run down the backstretch. The trio has quickened seven lengths better than Yes, I'm Evil, who's in a joint fourth placing with Hero the Best as they continue to race up the backstretch with just inside a half mile to go. Ocala Magic is still second last, but Lady Chandler starts to tighten up now as they make their entrance into the turn. Half mile, 48, and three. That's all for Sour Peach as Vita Leva U takes over. Shyla poised to pounce to the outside in second as Sour Peach is third. Six links back to Yes, I'm Evil, who's being called upon by Malcolm Franklin as they continue to race around the turn. They're just outside the quarter mile pole, and Vita Leva U's in front by a length. Shyla's coming under a vigorous ride. Sour Peach is back for some more as Yes, I'm Evil's getting a dream trip. Three quarters, 114 and two, and they spin on down for the money. It's Vita Leva U still there. Sour Peach with a big 
effort to the inside. And Yes, I'm Evil's rolling down the stand side inside the funnel. Florence Furlong. Here's Yes, I'm Evil up to the outside of Vita Leva U. Sour Peaches running a big one along the fence. They're in the final 60 yards. Vita Leva U drifting out, and Vita Leva U will give Machado five wins on the card. Sour Peach was second. Yes, I'm Evil third. Hero the best was fourth. Number seven, Vita Leva U gets the job done tonight for Equinox Incorporated, trained by Eduardo Caramori. Vita Leva U now three wins from her last four starts, and she was ridden a victory by jockey Luan Machado for his fifth victory on the car. The favorite returns 540, 260, 240. Second number one, Sour Peach. Third number four, Yes, I'm Evil. Finishing fourth, number three, Hero the Best. Exacta 2480, trifecta $30.40. The double 3260 super came back $200 even. Pick three, 40, 3, 40, and the running time, 141 and 4. Tonight's seventh race, a maiden special weight for the Phillies and Mares to go six panels. Jockey change on the six to Rilardo Capio. Morning line favorite, number two, Calumet Farms, B Bomb, and Rafael Mojica at post. And they are off in Gabby's 21st birthday bash. Awkward beginning for Smartin's Candy, and the rider lost the iron shortly after the start. Quick one, though, for Miss Pinkerton from that outermost gate. will clear off quickly by just about three lengths. B-Bomb with the blinkers on today, raced up into second. My Midnight Affair off the gate in third. Slippery to the inside is racing away in the fourth. Advancing now between horses, Celestial Orb, a length in front of Warrior's Path. Then five lengths to Tail of Tiara, who's climbing up the backside. And then still about another 15 lengths back to Smartens Candy, who's all but pulled up. The quarter, 23 seconds flat. Miss Pinkerton and the 10-pound bug girl show the way. Their lead's just about three lengths. B-Bomb, daughter of English Channel, has moved into second. She's being ridden hard to keep pace, though. Slippery's back into third. My Midnight Affair needs to find more from fourth. Celestial Orb taking the overland route from fifth. Warrior's Path advancing, but up top, Miss Pinkerton is still in front by three. B-Bomb and a full-out drive to try to catch her from second. Down the stand side, both Celestial Orb and My Midnight Affair, but with inside the final Florence for long to go, Miss Pinkerton still finding. B-Bomb still closing. A 16th left. Miss Pinkerton needs the line. B-Bomb is lunging up to the outside. Miss Pinkerton trying to hold and she hangs on by just about a neck. B-Bomb was second. Tight for third. Either My Midnight Affair and Slippery. Number eight, Miss Pinkerton fast out of the gate. And she wires the field here. Miss Pinkerton breaks maiden in start number 14, owned by the River Run Farm in Ed Bray. Trained by Madeline Royal, 10 pound apprentice Virginia Tormey up top. Miss Pinkerton, 1620, 840, 320. Second number two, B Bomb. Third number six, My Midnight Affair. Fourth goes the one, Slippery. Exact to $70.20. Trifecta, $110.20. The double, 59 bucks. The super, 634 even. Pick three, $243.70. Running time. 113 and 3. Tonight's eighth race, an allowance event for three and up, which have never won two lifetime. They'll go six furlongs. Scratch the three and 11, put PD Prentice on the 12 border crossing. Morning line favorite for the Calumet Farm, number seven, Fayette Warrior. Post. And they are off. Awkward beginning for top credentials, but it was a fast one for Westwood Proud. Pointers away in good order, and Haley's Hero jumped well from third. Tail of Fame is fourth, and behind that quartet races 70-70 Cat. As they continue to run up the backstretch, the favorite favorite warrior is racing mid-flight, just about six lengths off the lead, a length in front of Point to Dunkirk, who's flanked by border crossing on a long way last after the slow start is top credentials. They blitz into the far turn a dozen lengths from tip to tail now. The quarter 22-2 and two can Tested pace almost four across the track. From the inside, Haley's Hero and the Orange Silks Westwood Proud. Uh, Tail of Fame stacks up three deep, four wide is Pointer as they continue to race around the turn. Then there's a margin of just about six or seven links to will find the favorite Fayette Warriors moving into fifth and starting to close in as they took the half 46 and one and they line up four deep across the track as they spin on down for the money. Haley's Hero cut the corner. Tail of Fame from between horses and Pointer on the three wide side. Westwood Proud is in fourth and the favorite is in Deep, deep water with a 16th to go. And Pointer trying to put away the Cobra charges. Pointer to the outside, a big long shot, but Haley's Hero is persistent. And these three in a Florence photo finish. I think Haley's Hero got the advantageous head bob, but we'll leave it to the judges in 112 and 1. 
Number two, Halley's Hero. Tenacious in victory here. Battles back along the inside and gets the head bob in the photo. Son of City Zip, owned and bred by the Donnemeyer Farm, trained by Ben Colbrook, Rafael Mojica Jr., the winning jockey. The winner, 860, 480, and 360. Finishing second was number 10, Pointer. Third, number 8, Tail of Fame. Fourth, the 170, 70 Cat. The exact at 193 even, trifecta 566, 30. The daily double was worth $100. Superfecta, 4,356.20. Pick three came back 97.50. The running time, 112 and 1. Tonight's ninth and final, a claiming event for three and up, which have never won two. Claiming tag $7,500 or go six furlongs. Scratch four, five, eleven. Morning line favorite number eight, Top Mention. And Jackie Luan Machado looking for his sixth victory on the card. They are off. Quick start for Break the Deals, the first to fire. Shackled and Twinkling Knight away second and third. Top match in away in the fourth position. Joining that top flight, Shocking Blues a closer fifth. Two links for the back limit. Your losses comes next. A length in front of Royal Ghost and Spots Appeal out at the back. Up the backside to go. Break the deal. Paving the path. Shows the way by better than two. Shackled to the outside of Twinkle Knight there, second and third. Try to split horses. There goes Top Mansion to the inside. About to get shuffled as Shocking Blue. Now on the move, Royal Ghost from the backfield. And four lengths for the back to uh, Spots Appeal and limit your losses. 22 and two-fifths seconds of time for the opening quarter. Break the deal for the Smith Redgate Farm. Shows the way by a length and a half. Shackled comes to tackle from second. Now from the backfield, Royal Ghost. Red Cap advances to the outside in third. Following that move, finishing with interest to the far outside. Also, here comes Twinkling Knight as they straighten away to the top of the lane and break the deal. Shaken up by Utsi. Down the center, Royal Ghost is coming at him. And Shackled is not done many chances as it's wide open in the final 16th. And over the top comes Royal Ghost. And Royal Ghost and Alberta. Pusak wins going away by almost two. Shackled was second. Break the deal third. Twinkling Knight was fourth. Number six, Royal Ghost wins the night cap. For owner trainer Sharon Simon, Alberto Pusak picks up the winning ride. 1880, 520, 360 on the winner. Second, number 10, Shackled. Third, number three, Break the Deal. Finishing fourth. Number nine, Twinkling Knight. And fifth, the one spots appeal. Exact to sixty-five dollars. Try one hundred twenty-eight dollars ten cents. The double fifty-four forty. Super five hundred eleven dollars sixty cents. Pick three came back three hundred eight dollars forty cents. The pick four three hundred dollars forty cents. No winners in the high five. That carries nearly forty-eight hundred dollars. Race fans, thank you for tuning in. From all of us here at the track, this has been the Turfway Park Report. <laughs>